Well, something came in the mail. Let's open it up. What is everybody? I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Different kind of little video here. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. I used to do unboxings back in the day, but you know, I thought I might, I might as well bring it back. I used to do the mail day videos, but those aren't as kind of complex or as kind of, you know, really looking into the packaging of whatever I'm getting. And I know that this is an ultimate edition something from Aero Video. I don't know what it is yet because I ordered, I pre-ordered three things and those are coming out within the same time. And so, but what if it is what I think it is, I am very excited. And this is basically what you should expect when you order from Aero Video. This is a single pack order. Other pack orders, they'll give you like a normal, you know, parcel cardboard box, but this is for a single pack. I think it's pretty good. It's basically a big, thick layer of cardboard that wraps around it and it has a little thing to keep it stable. I'll show you more when we get into it, but basically it comes in this, so you rip it off. All recyclable, uh, in, uh, not ingredients, but recyclable, recyclable stuff. So, you know, environmentally sane. But it comes like this and it is what I think it is. And it is the Lighthouse Limited Edition 4K uh, Ultra HD set. I was just looking at the receipt. But the reason why I got this version instead of the Criterion version that came out, not Criterion, but the A24, they had their own single release for it, was because that's a huge ass book. And I don't have much shelf space as of yet, and I just feel like it'd be very clunky to kind of display it. And I like, I, and I want to start displaying my collection more as a proud owner. So that's why I went with this. And I've recently gotten a bunch of these um, these Arrow Ultimate Edition sets from the UK. This was on sale for a couple bucks off, so I might as well pick it up. I got it for about fifty fifty seven dollars Canadian. So that's that's 40 something US, so it wasn't wasn't too bad. But again, because it is a nice chunky set, and here we have it out of the box. The Lighthouse on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. This does look very nice, and this does not come off this logo, but the J card, when you remove the J card, uh, the, the, um, the logo should be removed, especially this little logo here. So here we got the artwork on it, nice, nice, nice. All right, and here we got the front artwork on it. Here we got the side, the back, and the spine. Now this is only towards, it's uh, on the J card. If you remove the J card, you'll get full artwork. So if you're interested to see what this comes with, here you go, pause it, I can read a little bit. From Robert Eggers, the visionary director of The Witch and The Northmen, uh, I love both those films, comes The Lighthouse, a hypnotic and hallucinatory tale of two men teetering on the edge of sanity. Two wikis, wikis, one inexperienced Robert Pattinson tenant, the other a grizzly veteran Willem Dafoe, uh, to live and die in LA. Okay, that's interesting credit for him uh, to live and die in LA. I love that movie, but okay. Arrive on a remote New England island in the in the 1890s for a four-week stint, maintaining the local lighthouse. But as isolation and personal differences take their toll, both men slowly succumb to their inner demons, uh, to the strange, otherworldly allure of the lighthouse itself. Very nice. This is what all comes with the limited edition, limited edition contents. You get the 4 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, obviously, with Dolby Vision, very nice, HDR10 compatible as well. So you're not gonna be able to, I know a lot of people have HDR10 setups, so they don't have Dolby Vision setups, which is fine, uh, but you know, it's so it's saying that you're able to actually have that. Cause maybe sometimes if you don't have uh, a TV setting or contrast settings that will adjust for it, it may look a little bit off, but you know, it does have HDR compatibility. Approved by director Robert Eggers, which is good because his original 4K pressing for the the witch, he did not approve of it. And then when he finally got to sitting down and watching it, he did not like the color grading and the contrast grading from that. So it's cool that they actually got him to sit down and watch this 4K Blu-ray. And he's like, yeah, that's pretty, it's really good. Then you have the original Lossus 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio. So no Dolby Vision, but that's good. You know, Lossus, I love me some Lossus Audio. Uh, opt optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, which is really cool. You know, you don't really see that being displayed, obviously, most movies nowadays come with subtitles, but it's nice that they actually, you know, brand that as it. Uh, or it'll just be lazy and say, hey, uh, we don't have that much stuff, but you know, we got, yeah, we got subtitles. <laughs> 
I don't know, <laughs> anyways. And a whole, whole lot of stuff that I'm not gonna really get into. If you wanna pause and check out what's in there, then you can do so at your own leisure. Very cool, Universal A24. Here we got RT features, focus features, Dolby Vision, uh, 5.1, 109 minutes, 1.19 1 by one, black and white. And of course it is in English. Dolby Auto Ultra HD, very, very cool. So that was the just outer side, outer shell. Let's open this up and see what actually is the artwork. Cause I'm really interested to see the artwork on this. So far, the, the ultimate editions for these uh, 4K Blu-rays, these Aero 4K Blu-rays has been really cool. Um, I've been really investing a lot in these UK exclusives because here in here in Canada, or I guess in North America in general, but certain things will only have a Blu-ray release. I know Old Boy got a recent 4K uh, scan Blu-ray release, but it's not a 4K Blu-ray. Doesn't have Dolby Vision, doesn't have HDR and that kind of stuff. So even though it won't look bad, it's just, it won't look the best. So obviously I went out and bought my own uh, from the Arrow website. Uh, mind you, um, these do take a little while, maybe a month, maybe two, three weeks. So obviously shipping from a different continent, different regions. Sometimes I've ordered, I think the most I've ordered was maybe four 4K Blu-rays, which I do have a video for and it, it took a while. And I also had to pay customs for I think $20 Canadian, $24 Canadian in customs. Oh, I wouldn't need this dangerous weapon. But yeah, that's removing the shrink wrap. Here we have the lighthouse, a very nice matte finish. Uh, but here we have Robert Pattinson's character. We got a nice little bird there, a seagull. We got the lighthouse, it's shooting from that direction. The lights coming out, but very nice. I like this matte finish, nothing here on top, on the spine as well. I think the art continues as well. Does it continue to the back? It does. Okay, that's a little bit boring. It just, it, it has nice continuing artwork on it. Oh, and the, the, the J card just comes right off. So that's cool. My problem with J cards, uh, if you've seen my uh, ba The Batman, that deluxe Blu-ray set, uh, it had a J card on a box and it just tore the image right off. So thankfully, the either the adhesive is lower on this, which I'm assuming because it literally just ripped off immediately. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's no uh, age rating on the, on the here and on the spine. So that is really cool. A lot of pet peeves with a lot of people in the UK folks I know you have is that, or I guess you don't really care anymore because it's so prevalent in media and in culture that you just notice it. But I know a lot of maybe Americans or North Americans here, um, when they when they have 4K Blu-rays from the UK and it has like two labels here and then it, it's just it does look a bit unattractive on the the shelf. So if you're worrying about that for this case, you don't have to worry. No age gating whatsoever on this. Obviously, you do get your Arrow logo and stuff, but that's to be you know expected. But finally, the moment of truth. We got. Let's look at the uh, this first. We'll look at the meat and potatoes later, but this comes with this does come with a poster which I believe is the, you get two options for a poster. And then the other poster that was commissioned by Aero Video. So that's very nice. This poster, it's just, hey, the two guys and there's a lighthouse in the background. Uh, and then this again, I also am not, not the biggest fan of it. Hey, it's a guy with the lighthouse in the behind, so. I wish they went for more of a mysterious kind of thing, but I mean, I guess it conveys what it is. It is a movie called The Lighthouse, so. Right, and then we have a booklet. This is an essay booklet. No, nothing on the front, but you do have, again, a nice picture of the lighthouse on the spine here, lighthouse. No A24 logos, eh? I think the only A24 logo we've seen was on the J card so far, uh, which is, uh, I guess, okay. But more with the Universal. And then there's the back, Continu it just continues the, uh, the kind of lighthouse beam on there. I'm not going to show you everything that's in the booklet, but I can show you a bit. Because I want to keep the surprise if you are interested in buying this little package here. Cast and crew. Art. The Art of the Fart. Humor, Horror, and Gas in the Lighthouse by Adam Simon Abrams. Pretty Pattison Poses Personality Puzzle. 
uh, American Madness, Edgar Allan Poe, and H.P. Lovecraft in the lighthouse. Lighthouse illuminated darkly. Okay. From stage to screen. Oh, was it a stage play or something? That's interesting. I guess it would make sense for it to be a stage play because the majority of it does take place in one setting, right? About the transfer, which I will be reading, and then the credits. So basically, you get like the kind of Criterion kind of essay booklets with, you know, screenshots of the actual movie itself. So that's really cool. But I do want to look at the, at the About the Transfer, which is also available, which is also like a prime thing on the uh, Criterions. So Lighthouse is presented 1.91 by 1 with 5.1 sound, 4K UHD release of the film presented in 4K resolution with HDR10 Dolby Vision. The 4K master data files were sourced from NBC Universal, so they were the ones who uh, gave that 4K on the on the I guess on the on the on the USB. And the, hey, here, and I guess this is just a picture of the actual location, which is very nice. But yeah, here it comes with a lot of a lot of reading. So if you love this film and you love reading, uh, you're 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 stacked. You're set. I like that it's a black page with white letters as opposed to a white page with black letters. Uh, easier on the eyes to read, so that's cool. But here we got the main event. We got the actual 4K Blu-ray. Uh, of course, it's going to be in that thicker Amory case. Uh, very nice and very chunky, as opposed to. Hey, let me see if I can get a reference. As opposed to here, I have the Big Lebowski. This is a North American release. Uh, in the UK, everything's chunkier. Uh, well, I guess uh, when it comes to the media, everything's chunkier. So Blu-ray and 4K uh, are both like so. This is substantially thicker. I believe it's like a a thing and a half. But yeah, so expect that. I know some Arrow releases, like the Old Boy 4K, not Old Boy 4K, but King of New York 4K. It's a, it's a slim case for some reason, so you never know. Sometimes, you know, boutiques themselves will have. I know even regular Arrow for Arrow 4Ks are coming thicker because I, I believe are they uh, UK? I could be totally wrong, but it's, it would make sense if they were a UK company to I guess what they have, you know, distributions in the US. But again, same thing like the like the J card. So if you're scared of tossing out your J card, I don't know why you would. I know some people do. It just gets in the way. But if you want to toss out your J card, you will be good with all of the stuff on here. Uh, and on the inside, here we got you got the crow that is in 4K Ultra HD. Obviously, uh, 4Ks are region free, uh, and this does not have a uh, what's it called. A Blu-ray, so I'm pretty sure that is why it's it is uh, it's not expensive. It's not cheap, cheap, but it's it's pretty in a, inexpensive for it being an ultimate edition set with all these things. So for those who don't have a region-free player like myself, you should be set. I believe all of the stuff is on the 4K Blu-ray itself, all of the bonus features and that kind of stuff. So, but that's the disc artwork on it. Very nice. Uh, that should be a crow. It is a crow and seagulls and that kind of stuff. It could be a seagull. You never know. They, they kind of have the same kind of beak proportions, but I'm pretty sure that is just a, 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 a crow. But then you have art cards, uh, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but you know, it's it's an added whatever. But here you have, I'm going to show you all these. And then it has little mini posters. There you go. That's very that's nice. It's fun. Oh, they all have mini posters on the back. Okay, never mind. But they're all the same image, so that's a bit lazy. But, you know, whatever. There you go. But again, yeah, the cinematography in this is absolutely beautiful. So I'm really excited to get into this Dolby Vision uh, 4K transfer as soon as I can. Very, very nice. Oh. Cinematography is just beautiful on this one. And it's a short little film, so... Yeah, so those, that's everything that comes with it, everything physical. Now, let's check out to see if there is reversible arc because for most part, for the most part there is, but I could be wrong, I could be sad. So let's, uh, oh yes sir Bob, there is reversible arc for, artwork, unfortunately it's not a different commission artwork, but it is the exact same artwork for the lighthouse, which is fine, you know, it's, just a, it's a doable artwork, but here you go, it's just a plain black as opposed to the kind of continuing artwork. So usually I think I like to switch them around. I don't know if I'll do that with this one, but you know, I will just to have a change in the monotony. A lot of, you know, them really banking on that, you know, custom artwork on it. So that's why I'll switch it around and I'll have it this way or I'll have it the other way because, um, you know, change up the scenery, you know, if ever, I sometimes like to just sit in my chair for hours and just look at my, uh, my collection, open up the boxes, 
look inside, see the art cards, and just look at it and have a fun time. So when I do it for this one, I'll have it on this side and it'll look nice. So to recap, so to recap, 2023's Arrow video release of the Lighthouse, you get the 4K Blu-ray with bonus features. You get about, what, five, six art cards on there. Very nice black and white art cards. Uh, not like thick cardboard, but they are like a kind of a a thick paper so it's not like flimsy paper but it is not cardboard which is a little tiny disappointing but again it still has a nice matte finish and it has a good print quality on it so uh, it doesn't really take away from the image or whatever and then you get a poster with a double-sided poster with either the commissioned artwork or the um, the original artwork from the um, from the original theatrical poster then you have a very nice essay booklet which comes with also images of the film screenshots that kind of stuff and just a lot of really cool fun stuff again I already read out what everything comes on the credits if you don't know double check and then kind of one of the main selling point for me also is this very nice uh, slip box very thick very nice very sturdy and the the image is not too bad too and it should look very nice sitting next to all of my other arrow 4k box sets so that was today's unboxing let me know down below are you going to be picking this up are you going to be importing this i know a lot of people who watch my videos are from north america so will you be picking up will you be paying the extra for it or will you just be getting the a24 version because i know if you got the midsummer a24 version if you got uh, the other ones it would make sense because you probably already have something set up to where you can display it for me i don't have that kind of setup right now i just have like again this is like a shelf with a bunch of 4ks and a bunch of blu-ray stacked up on top of each other so that's out of the question for me but let me know down below are you going to pick up this version or are you going to pick up the criterion not the criterion but the a24 solo release that does come with a lot of other cool stuff too but i believe that this has more be uh, bonus features that was the unboxing i'm going to pop this in the player and check it out one day maybe i'll do a review for it maybe not who knows anyways that was my unboxing of the lighthouse 4k ultimate edition box set by arrow uh if you did enjoy this video please make sure to like and subscribe i am mason from the Mockbuster youtube channel please have yourself a good day night evening afternoon morning whenever you're watching this please stay safe god bless peace cheers long physical media and until i see you guys next time peace